Hello everyone, it's PR today. See you today. I want to show you how to turn your side mesh to step side mesh layered one in ArchJet. Of course, left model is more correct and more professional, but if you want to represent your model in a different way, you can use this method. You can select all of your terrain parts and you can give a solid color. And after that, of course, you can place your model without any more information. Let's jump to the tutorial. All right, here we are in RxJet and instead of starting from scratch, I'm gonna look, look at this terrain, which I have created for my Patreon tutorial. If we look to left side of our terrain, we can see slopes coming down and we can clearly see it's not flat. For the demonstration purpose, for the architectural presentation for your projects, we are going to turn this into stepped side mesh. So how can we turn this to stepped or layered? Okay, let's go to the floor plan. We need to learn the elevation differences between the lines. So in order to learn it, we will click this point and the height is 5 meters. And this one is 3 meters. That means the difference is 2 meters. We will create our layers according to this, which is 2 meters. But how can we place our layers exactly to the same place? You will see your pen will stick to the point of your model. But unfortunately, you cannot do this for your whole model because, well, as you can guess, it's a lot of process and lots of perks. We won't follow this method. Maybe we can use our spacebar to use magic wands. Let's hit the space. It's kind of working, but Well, it's not working, but it only see our integrated mesh and other parts. Or it calculates a triangulation according to the model and hold their corners. But it's not useful for our process. Let's get rid of that. Here is the method. We will duplicate this one more time. And go to edit, go to reshape, and click explode. We will uncheck this keep original elements and click OK. Now we have our lines, and with the magic band tool, we'll see them as border. Let's hit the alt, or you can click the mesh and our height will be 2 meters and I will start from 0 or instead of starting from here as you remember this was 5 meters we can type in 5 meters here and this flat area will be equal to 5 meters Let's hit the space and click. In order to see where you click, you can click your mesh, go to floor plan and sections, click cover fields. But this time we must input here 5 meters too. Because in the 3D, we don't want to see gas between our layers. Okay, this is 5 meters. Hit the alt. And this is going to be 3 meters. Let's type in 3 here and hit the space. Now 1 meter, the space and click. 0. And click. As you can see, 
is starting to appearing but i think this area will be 5 meters this area will be 7 meters let's check it out yeah it's 6 and this side of course 6 let's click this one and change to 6 Four hundreds, two hundreds, and zero. Let's try making your minus two hundred. And look at what we have. Yeah, okay, it's kind of true. But this one empty, this is going to be zero. Zero is not working. To fix this, we need a thickness. If I give this a thickness, I have to give additional thickness the remaining parts. For this reason, I can give additional five meters for thickness each of them. Let's add five here, 11. 9 7 As you can see, important thing is here is elevation and this is the thickness There we go And the thickness will be equal to this button which is 3 meters. Of course, you can fix it in the 3D window as I do. As you can see, we have some differences between our original model and our new layered model. It happens because, because our model isn't continue with repeatedly. The difference between here and here, one meter. As you can see, this is six. So this is going to be six. And this is five. This one and this one will be equal to three meters, referring to our original model. So it's true. There we go, this is how you can turn your side mesh to stepped and layered one. I hope you have enjoyed with this tutorial and learned something new. If so, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to download this model, of course you can go to my Patreon page and there you can download my other project files as well as this one and you can see how we can model this whole building from scratch with all the details. Alright guys, thank you for watching, until the next time, have a nice day.